Hey y'all, it's Lady Jarhead. I'm coming at you with a um, video of pieces for sale. Um, you've probably seen them from time or time. You know, I, some are new, some are old. Um, I'm just trying to get rid of some things because they're really stacking up. My house is coming together slowly but surely. I'm back in it. I still don't have counters in my kitchen, so I don't have my kitchen together. Um, but, I mean, it is livable again, so um, hopefully it won't be too much longer for my craft room set back up. But I wanted to show this real quick. I made this, this toilet seat lid, um, while living in the hotel, actually. I was very bored. Um, it's not really showing the true color. It's like a greenish aqua green kind of and it does have some glow in the dark glitter in it so that I want it to kind of look like the bioluminescence you know there's um jellyfish you really it's really hard to see with the lighting in here there's jellyfish and seahorses and there's corals seashells sand starfish there's an octopus in there there's a um, crab in there. There's, there's stingrays. There's those um, big bubbles here and there, small bubbles. So it's just an underwater scene with a lot of seaweed. And I put some of those um, little window papers in there that I like just to kind of have some shine reflection going on in there. So that is the lid. Oh, they're heavy. And this is the actual seat. Um, I still have to glaze it with some polycrylic. And I have to sand the back, the edges, because they are kind of sharp. But um, that's the, um, the toilet seat I made while I'm um, living in a hotel for the past month, four to six weeks, while my house was down. And I mean, my house was down. Everything in my house was packed. My cabinets were all ripped out of my kitchen. As you can see, I have no counters right now. Um, all of my floors have been replaced. I have tumble travertine in the kitchen and baths, and the rest of the house is this wood. Um, I had to completely rip everything out, down to the, rip the subfloor and everything out. It was a mess. It, it's been a lot of mess and expenses, but I'm getting it done. I'm gonna have to get a lawyer and sue the contractor it's just going to be a mess but anyway i'm going to show these pieces i have for sale uh, that i really would really like to move and get rid of because um this i still have like two other tubs like this full so i really need to start moving some stuff so i have some trinket boxes this is a, a real wasp in here with uh some silver um, stars behind it and um, it's a like a neon green kind of looks yellow in the picture so like a mellow yellow color I guess it has a silver ring around it I think it glows in the dark if I'm not mistaken I'm not positive I don't know and then the this is kind of scratched up a little bit with the silver because it's been open and closed so many times. Um, and then there's a mirror in there. So that trinket box. And then I have um, this pink heart trinket box with a little bow on it. And I have this pink one. This one's a lighter pink than that. And this is much spark more has more glitter in it than this. Then I have a purple one with a little purple um, bow on it. If my camera will focus. I know it looks blue in the picture, but it, trust me, it's a really beautiful purple. And then I have this, this one with this um, Tinkerbell fairy on a crescent moon. And it has stars in the background and a bunch of glitter. Yeah, you can see the stars when you turn it. And then it's just, just a box. There's no mirror or nothing in it like that. And then I have this... Glinda the Good Witch um, trinket box, and that is a bubble. Um, and there's another one on the other side. I specifically put those in there because you know she comes in on the bubbles, 
and it's just a box and it does have a little lip where it sits down in there so you don't have to worry about the lid coming off once you put it in there then I have what are you doing nibbles huh then I have um, this trinket box with a beetle the beetle has gone kind of clear in that I've never had that happen before so I don't know what the situation was with him he was completely dried out but um, I don't know what's going on with him so um, this one has a uh, blinking light in it so um, it'll be discounted because the bugs kind of clear in some spots like I said I don't know what went on it this is a really big bee and this one it is a really pretty blue color really shiny and it well I thought it had a light in it yeah it does there you go okay so that's that then I have this bracelet with all the Disney princess pinup type um, girls in it it is a bracelet like I said okay then I have another Disney princess there's a Snow White Cinderella Tinkerbell Pocahontas um, Beauty and the Beast what well, I don't remember what her name is and then the Jasmine I think's her name and then we have this is just all different types of stuff. this is a real seahorse in there this is a resin seahorse another resin seahorse real seahorses another real seahorse and that's back to the beginning so there's that bracelet and then there's this one with um, mermaids these are all mermaids there's um, that mermaid there is that one there that's a like a lionfish mermaid her she's bent over here with her hair hanging and then there's this mermaid that mermaid that mermaid and back to the beginning then there's another pinup type this is that um, Frida artist this is um, Belle, not Belle, Belle is the one I couldn't remember earlier. This is, um, oh my goodness, the Bayou Princess Tiana, there you go. That's um, Sally, Jasmine, and then a mermaid, that's Cinderella. I think that's Cinderella. There you go. And then this one is all... Um, Wizard of Oz. There's the Good Witch, the Lion, Dorothy, the Tin Man, the Scarecrow, and the Bad Witch. Okay, now we're going to go through some pieces. Some of them are going to be hard to see because when these bags, I'm not taking them out. So I'll do my best to show you. This is one of my underwater sea. Um, spheres. It is um, just got a. Does it's not on a necklace or anything. It's just ready for you to hang on whatever you want to hang on. It's got sand shells, um, and there is a seahorse right there. If you can see him, there we go. A little bit. Okay, and then I have this piece as a pipe with a flowers petals in it. There's this metal cameo with um, Tiana, the princess, in it. It has rhinestone gems, Swarovski crystals around it. This is a very pretty piece. Okay, then this is a set of barrettes. Really pretty sparkly bows with skulls. And they are on these type of barrettes. Like an alligator clip type thing. There is this bug piece. It's on a bell. There's this. I don't know what those hamsters are called. Or that's a cat. I don't. I guess a cat and a hamster. I don't know. Whatever they are. There they are. This is a um, dried flower piece. This is a piece with a um, seahorse. 
Wow, it's really hard to see. I'm sorry, y'all. But anyway, it's got a seahorse and some shells, some real shells and a real starfish. And it's ready to be hung. I got a bunch of pieces like this. They're woodsies with stickers and resin on them. And they're double-sided. And I give these out as free gifts with any purchase. Um, these are bone barrettes matching pair they're on the alligator clips as well these are cupcake earrings little chocolate cupcakes with cherries on top this is a moss piece ready to be hung this is a jasmine piece the light really reflects in here so it's really not a good and there's this piece with a blue starfish and some of those pretty papers behind it. Having fun, Nibbles, huh? You having fun? And there's this Oogie Boogie shooting dice with the bat on it. There is this Wizard of Oz piece. It has focus. Focus. Well, you can kind of see it. It's not wanting to cooperate. But you have the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, Dorothy, the Lion. And then there's the heart with the clock in it. And then there's the Badge of Honor right there. It's really hard to see for some reason. It does not want to focus. Certain pieces it like, does not want to focus on. This is just a pretty cat. This is a barrette with a skull and crossbones on it. This is a um, vampire mouth. This is Bite Me. This is a clay piece that has a stamping on it with some gold leafing. It's actually prettier than it's showing in the camera, but there you go. This is a uh, magnet. It says Bad Girl with uh, Maleficent on there, I believe. It's a um, breast cancer awareness gumball machine with the ribbon on it with pink and white gumballs. This is a really small pendant bug piece. Here's a big bumblebee piece. And this is just crazy stuff. I don't know what it is. Just some extra crafting things I had and I just threw them in there. It's a pony necklace it's on a green ball chain. This is a cute little kawaii cupcake that has kisses and hugs on it there with a little scully bow on its head. Wow. I'm going to quit putting things in here until I actually sell them. Because they're really hard to take pictures of in these bags. There you go. But he's a cute little dude. And then there's this piece. Which is a little bottle. That has some flowers, rocks, and a dragonfly in it. I thought that was a cute piece. There's this on a um, silver ball chain. She's a fairy. In a frame with some uh, greenery and flowers. This is a Walking Dead piece. It's just on a jump ring ready to be hung. This is a um, silhouette of a mermaid with a sunset. It's small. I think this is like a 18 by 20 or something like that. It's small. And there's this bug piece that I believe glows in the dark as well. And it has really pretty markings on it. It's got some metallic colors in it. This is an Alice in Wonderland piece. This is a um, Hope ribbon and a Pegasus on a ribbon necklace. This is a dried flower heart. Another vampire mouth on a ball chain. This is a Dorothy with Emerald City behind her, ready to be hung on a bell. These are glass 
globe earrings with real lavender pieces inside them. They, they're hanging type earrings. There you go. Pretty. These are um, sphere earrings with dried flowers. They're just ball earrings. They don't hang. They're just posts. As well as these. These have um, beige and orangish reddish color flower dried flowers and then these are really pretty then there's um this my melody piece with an umbrella with some um cellophane behind it it's another bug piece one of those really cool marking metallic bugs um this is a hand mirror with a rose this is a um, domino size. It's got um, aqua blue Swarovski crystals all around the outside. It has this sparkly jellyfish and all this really pretty um, shimmery blue green behind it. This is a mermaid piece. This is a um, twin star piece with some iridescent stars. This is a small heart with a dried flowers. A unicorn on a lobster claw. This is a skull. I'm gonna start it. Um, probably have to do these in several videos. So this is another Wizard of Oz piece. You can see that much clearer in this one than you could the other one. It's the same thing that was in the other one. The same picture just in a heart. This is a um, really weird looking bug with like polka dots on him. There you go. It's another dried flower um, arrangement in a pipe. It's another piece like that with the seahorse and shells on it. I mean the uh, yeah seahorse and shells. What is that on there? Part of the price tag. Sorry, y'all. And this is a um, zombie lips on a ball chain. These are bow. They have iridescent stars in them, too. They have a bunch of different... Um, no, they're not stars. They're flowers. They're like little iridescent flowers that the camera is not really picking up on. Just trust me, they're in there. They're really pretty. It's a purple, dark purple glitter. Um, they're not the alligator clips. They're the regular type barrettes. And then I have this octopus cameo with a seahorse charm and bubbles and seaweed behind it. This is a um, sequenced butterfly in a heart. It's a really pretty piece. This is a uh, star po with a lobster claw. This is a little tree of life with a dark purple background. These are um, yellow dry flower earrings. This is an eyeball. The eyelashes are kind of smashed down, but they are real eyelashes. It's a stick pin for your lapel. This is a heart with a scenery of a park in the background and it's really hard to see because of the bag but those are real figures sitting on a bench the bench and the figures are actually like the miniature dollhouse type ones so and it's in a heart and the old man and lady are sitting he's kissing her there's an Alice um, cameo with some rhinestones around it. Purple rhinestones. Purple and pink. Um, with some gold leafing design going on. Ready to be hung. I don't know how well you're seeing this. Because my camera sucks. My lighting sucks. Ah, that really is bad. Okay, these are bow barrettes regular barrettes. 
these are uh, more lavender globe earrings. No, these aren't lavender. These are, uh, yeah, they are lavender. Or little purple flowers. One, uh, I think these are dried flowers. Little purple flowers in there. It's really pretty. Really cute. There you go. Okay, this is a, a moth piece. There you go. Here are some um, beetle, scare beetle um, earrings. Here are um, purple dry flower post earrings. Here's a pretty Renaissance girl with uh, rhinestones around the outside. Here's a mermaid cameo pendant. Here's a um, star alligator clip barrette. Here's a bulldog with a crown and it's got blue and pink rhinestones on the top with the points of the crown. Here's a spider web and spider barrette set. It's a bobby pin type barrette. And it's like a greenish blue color. Um, it's alcohol ink color. This is a mixture of dry flowers and seeds in the background. Pink. And um, these are some pink dry flower um, post earrings again. This is yellow dried flowers. In a teardrop shape. Resin piece. This is a Maleficent piece. This is teal colored um, dry flowers in um, spear balls. Earrings. This is a charm um, inside a cameo piece. This is a bib necklace. It has um, ready to be hung. Um, the wings are crackled. The center is orange and it has a scorpion and um, it glows in the dark. And this goes through the crackle in the wings. It's pretty cool. It glows in the dark orange, too. And this is another Sharpay, Sharpo, Chapeau. There you go, Chapeau. Sentimental Circus. This is another one of those under the ocean scenes with starfish and some bubbles, some shells, and some sand. It's really pretty. It's really hard to see because of the um, bag, but this, this, these are really pretty pieces. It's on a black ribbon or gonza type necklace. This is just a mixture of dry flowers in there. Um, Maleficent cameo on a purple ball chain. This is a cute little um, metallic marked bug. It's really got some really cool markings on it. There you go. These are um, starfish, sand, and shell earrings. They're actually really nice. They have these um, bubbles, white and black bubbles in them too. Um, this is another pipe with a greenery and a dried flower in it. This is another pair of ball earrings with dry flowers in them. Very pretty little tiny dried flowers that the camera is not really... There you go. Aren't they pretty? Very pretty. Then there's these. It's like little daisies in those. Same thing. Little earrings. Here's a bib necklace again. This is on a black velvet choked, choker type necklace. Um, the wings are dark green and black. You can't really tell by the camera again. They're crackled. And it has this zombie renaissance girl in the center. If it focus. There you go. This is a Jack and Sally piece on a jump ring ready to go. These are, this is a barrette. It was a piece of fabric that I cut out, resined over, and um, put on a 
snap type barrette. Okay, I'm going to do a um, part two. I'll be back.